praise be to Allah, peace be upon the Prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you today. Um, and first of all, I would like to thank uh, Brother Abdullah for his introduction. Um, and I would like to say thank you very much for all of you for your attendance. Today, we are going to discuss a very important matter stated in the Holy Quran. So, this subject is going to be about the Quran and human embryology. Some of you will think, what is the relationship between Quran and science? <laughs> you are talking about a holy book, the book of Muslims, and you would like to make a link between science and the holy Quran. What is the matter? The Quran is not only a guidance for all mankind from the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, until the day of judgment, but it is a book that give you, gives you many signs that Allah the Almighty is the Creator. And you will see from our seminar today the reality about what I have said. Not only from the side of Muslims, but also from the side of the scientists. So, please listen carefully to what we are going to introduce to you, the relationship between the Quran and the modern science. So, Quran addresses many aspects related to science. Many and many aspects. And we might need many and many lectures in order to clarify these subjects. Today, we selected a subject for you because it's in your field. And you are the people of this field, and you are the people who can understand what we are going to say about this. Therefore, our subject today is the Quran on human embryology. What is the Quran? The Quran is the literal word of God. It's the literal word of God. It is not the word of Muhammad. It is not the word of Muslims. It is the word of Allah, Almighty God. God revealed Quran to the last prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel was the mediator between Allah the Almighty and the prophet Muhammad. The Quran is 100% authentic. It has been transmitted everywhere in the most reliable means. So, there is no error in the Quran. There is no contradictions in the Quran. There is no change, even in a single letter, even in a single word in the Quran. So, it's 100% authentic. The modern science came to be a witness for the authenticity and truthfulness of the Quran. The modern science, with the recent findings, is telling me and you that the Qur'an is 100% authentic and it is truthful. And I will give you an example about this, which is related to the human embryology. Allah, the Almighty, said in Qur'an, and I'm going to recite it first in Arabic, 
because Quran was revealed in Arabic and then I will give you the translation Allah said in the Quran هو الذي يصوركم في الأرحام كيف يشاء لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم This is in chapter Al Imran in the Quran verse number 6 The corresponding meaning of this of this ayah of this verse is He it is who shakes you in the arms as He pleases there is no God but he, the exalted in might, the wise. This is what Allah said in the Quran. He is the one who shapes you in the Quran. And I am going to discuss with you, I am going to give you how Allah the Almighty shapes the human in the womb of the mother. Through the verses of the Quran. But, before I present to you some verses from the Quran that describes the creation of human in the uterus, I would like to give you a background about the history of embryology. In order to know that the Quran was revealed 14 centuries ago, and it was until recently that scientists and modern science discovered the different stages of human embryo inside the uterus. Okay, the founder of embryology is Aristotle in the 4th century BC. Aristotle mistakenly promoted the idea that human embryo developed from promised mass resulted from the union of semen with the menstrual blood. Mistakenly. He was wrong. But yet, he is still considered the founder of embryology. Then after that, it was until 18th century AD, researchers mistakenly had believed in the pre-formation theory, which stated that man is created in his full shape from the beginning. So, this is what the researchers thought. They thought that man was created from the beginning in and in his full shape, which is the pre-formation theory. Start with his, with, with, with his full shape, and it, or he increases, or she increases in size, that's it. Until delivery. So, it was a mistake. Until 18th century. That was the idea in the minds of the embryologists.